I assure you, we are nothing alike. Very well. I do have appetites to satisfy, after all. Follow me. This place, as you so eloquently put it, is the great temple of Anubis. Or at least it will be, once the works are completed. For now, it serves the Jekyll's purpose perfectly well. Though it doesn't reflect the splendor his high priestess desires. For whilst she is an avatar of Anubis, the crocodile is the high priestess's fall. She too is worthy of devotion, is she not? You may confuse my form with that of the priestess. However, I assure you, we are nothing alike. I am a mere attendant. I fulfill the every whim of the High Priestess. That alone is why I am here, to impose her will on Sabu. Did you now? I presume you also heard about the other thing? Oh my. Did whoever told you of the eternal or you neglect to mention that part? Those who are not chosen for the or Well... They have the privilege of constructing the great temple, stone by stone. So many have devoted their souls to its completion. Those too weak to work find their bones added to the foundations. Sadly. It seems many tire easily beneath the harsh sun. As I thought. It makes no difference to me. Take a good look. Unless you've the coin, it's all your game. You honestly don't know? My sisters and I are concubine adepts, initiated by the priestess to perfect our skills, hold our craft. Once we have mastered the lustful arts, we shall join her hero. Partake in the eternal. Ha! Oh, you're serious? Well, you'll have your work cut out for you. You need to speak with the priestess's attendants, although you need to uh, prepare yourself beforehand. They say curiosity killed the... Uh... So what exactly do you want to know? Speak then. <laughs> the arrogance of this one. We are no mere hope. We serve the will of the Jackal God Anubis. We do. The more intense the art, the higher the price. The gold we obtain is proof of our uh, lustful endeavors. When our worldly training is complete, we shall join the High Priestess in the eternal. We don't generally use that term ourselves, but others often refer to us by that title. 
Oh, <laughs> those are the warriors of an abyss. Mm, foot soldiers of his cult. We adepts don't wear those ridiculous masks. Of course not. Anyone who has begun their ascension to godhood can become an adept. It is our perfection of lust that will restore the... Enough, sister. Not in front of the outsider. I, uh... Yes. Is it that hard to believe? Well, I suppose my beauty does surpass the others. What's your mouth, sweet sister? Less than perfect. Perhaps this one could help us teach you some manners. Mmm, they look fit to burst. Sisters, don't tease the poor thing. <laughs> mm. There is something about you. Perhaps we will meet in the eternal. Alice, then, are you ready to walk the path of the Jackal? Are you ready to walk the path of the Jackal? It is the way of Anubis. Each adept will make their own journey, but they will all walk the path. To follow the path, one must weight the scales of fate with their actions. Their true desires made manifest. Your acts may be for good or ill, but they must be true to yourself. Your inner self. The right thing, done to hide what you truly want, is a living lie. Such actions will tip his scales against you. We can show you where to start, but from there the journey is yours alone. So be it. Travel to his shrine and offer yourself to him. If you truly wish to follow the Jackal, he will guide your path.
must be so easily determined. I shall hear you.